Hey everybody and welcome to the King of Shadows 1111 YouTube channel. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your Friday energy check-in. So what I wanted to do today was take a look at how masculine is experiencing his divine feminine and his connection with divine feminine. So we're going to be looking at those energies here and then we're going to be getting a message from Divine Masculine for each of those energies. So before we get started, I just want to make sure that you guys all heard my announcement this morning on the Queen of Light 1111 YouTube channel and that you are aware that I have started the Global Online Wellness Center called Soul Circle. So the Soul Circle link to join is in the description box of this video and will be in the description box of all of my future videos here on the King of Shadows YouTube channel as well as the Queen of Light 1111 YouTube channel. To take a look at what the Soul Circle is, you know, go ahead and if you haven't, you know, watched the whole video, please take the time to watch the entire video that I posted because it is a very valuable resource and it's something that is just not available today in the spiritual community um, or frankly, you know, in the world. I did a lot of research. I Googled and I took a look at different businesses that were out there. There are a lot of different variations of wellness centers. Most are in person and um, some are online, but they don't necessarily capture all of the, the different components and experiences that I have in the soul circle. So please take the time to take a look at the full video that I posted and, you know, give it a shot, give it a try and see how it works for you. So bottom of the deck for Divine Masculine's energy is the energy of Adrift. And so this is the bottom of the deck for his energy towards his Divine Feminine. So how is he experiencing Feminine? How is he experiencing his connection with Divine Feminine? And, um, and what is that all about? And so it's Adrift. It says letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. And so what is he letting go of? Five of Swords, this mind game, this just getting in his head about things, overlooking things, just carefully trying to introspect, you know, and just double check that, you know, um, you know, things are not off. It's just like this energy of paranoia that I'm picking up and this energy of just being in his pride. So what he's really doing right now as related to his divine feminine is he's letting go. He's really surrendering himself to the flow of the universe. He's surrendering himself to his higher power, to his higher self, and he's letting go of mind games and conflict and defeat and sneakiness energy. He's letting go of being hidden or hiding things or just overly obsessing about everything. He's letting go of his pride. He's letting go of his ego. I love that. Bottom of the deck energy for his messages, we have discernment. So this is beautiful because this is really telling us that this divine masculine is absolutely in the energy of using good judgment. So he's using his discernment combined with his wisdom, combined with his own intuition, things that are being revealed to him. Um, and he's using that wisdom, he's using that knowledge, he's using that aspect of himself to discern. What is he discerning? What is he looking at? His alignment, star card. His alignment, his faith. He's connecting to his spiritual power, spiritual insight. That's what he's using. He's in this energy where he is acknowledging it. And this is frankly... Because his divine feminine is in this high priestess energy that he is now fully coming into his awakening and his awareness. And he is using not his 
ego and his 3D judgment and wisdom. He is truly, truly, truly using his discernment and he's using the wisdom that is given to him by his spirit through his healing, through the alignment, okay? He's in this energy of power and strength and spiritual insight because he's connecting more to his own inner feminine energy and he's letting go, as we saw, of this ego energy and this pride energy. So I was in a mermaidy mood, a mood, mood. So I used all my mermaid decks, okay? And what's interesting is this deck here is not even a mermaid deck. It's what is it? It's like the rainbow tarot. And look at this star card. She's she's a mermaid. Like how much more aligned can that be? So what's the first card that we're getting for divine masculine and his energy towards his feminine and the connection? I mean, you can't make this up. Look at this. Falling in love, kissing the divine in another, in yourself. So how is he experiencing his divine feminine? You know, he's falling in love again. I feel like he's scared to, to come back into this energy of love and vulnerability. He's in this energy where he's having this powerful feelings and these, this attraction for his feminine. And I feel like he's getting very overwhelmed. Look, you have these, this couple embracing. He knows that she is his mirror. She is a divine connection. And right now he's feeling very uncertain. He's uncertain about this relationship and he's uncertain how, you know, all of their problems can be solved. You know, he's in this energy where he's curious where things can go. He's curious about why he's feeling all of these feelings and why he's so overwhelmed by his feminine again. And he's really trying to adapt. He's trying to, you know, ask his spirit questions, ask his spirit guides, his angels questions. You know, he's very much in this energy of, you know, wanting to understand. He's very curious. He's fallen in love with her again. He's feeling all of these emotions again. He's feeling the power of their connection again. And he's feeling uncertain. So this uncertainty is leading him to ask some questions of himself, of his heart, of his higher self. So what's the message that Masculine wants to send about falling in love? Ask for help. He's asking his spirit guide. He's asking his angels. He may be asking you telepathically. The judgment card comes up. He may be asking like, okay, you know, let's evaluate this. Are we going to reconcile? How can I ask for help to purge certain things? How do I break free of certain behaviors? How do I, you know, revive this union, this partnership? So I feel like there's this energy here where he's feeling all of these emotions are coming up again. These feelings are coming, coming up again. And he's really in this energy of asking his spirit guides and angels to help him solve these problems. And here he's telling you, yeah, I'm asking for help. I'm asking for help. I'm in this energy of my awakening, right? I'm asking for help so I can break free of my immaturity and the things that I did to, you know, sabotage this union. The second card that we're getting for how he's experiencing his divine feminine and this connection is water flight. Heaviness lifts, burdens are cast away, weightlessness. The first thing that I'm getting is that being in his feminine's energy again is just making him feel very weightless. It's like he had been carrying all of these burdens, all of this energy that was just very, very heavy for so long. And now he's very much in the energy of feeling like, oh, my burdens are gone. He's in this energy of the Page of Cups. Things feel dreamy again. He can dream about, you know, gathering with his feminine again, having this beautiful connection, you know, recognizing this beautiful um, feminine again. And he's in this energy of just releasing all of the burdens, releasing all of the weight because he's back into this dreamy, loving energy. So what does he want to tell you about this weightlessness? He's telling you that he's using his inner knowing. He's using his inner guide to release burdens, to release behaviors, to really come into this energy and alignment of healing and love for his feminine. He's telling you he knows. He is aware of this connection. He is aware you are divine feminine. He is aware that prosperity and success lies here in this connection with feminine. He sees her as the real deal. And he knows the time has come. The time has come to fulfill this connection. 
this union. Third message from Masculine, third, third energy here about how he's experiencing his connection in Divine Feminine Homeland. He's ready to arrive. He's ready to come back home. He's ready to end the separation. Look at judgment again, and that came out with the cards here for falling in love and asking for help. He's ready to return home with his awakening, with knowledge, with wisdom. Within a few weeks, he'll be back to his twin flame. He's awakened. He's awakened to the connection. He's awakened to the union. He sees you as his other self. You have been a catalyst for his awakening. And he's ready to end his solo journey and come back home. What's his message? Blessings. That this connection is a blessing. Blessing upon blessing upon blessing. He's letting you know that you are abundant. That your love is abundant. And he's in this energy of receptiv receptivity. Like he's in the energy where he's receptive to the blessings now. He's in his emotions. Queen of Cups. Really feels like he's feeling this compassion and this emotion. He's finally, you know, in this energy where he's no longer suppressing his emotions. He's in this energy of understanding this divine union. So his message about wanting to return home is, you are a blessing to me, Divine Feminine. Our love is a blessing. Our connection is a blessing. You are compassionate and understanding. I'm in my feelings for you. I have broken free of my powerlessness that kept me from this union. Last energy, the present gift treasure. Revelation of own value, nowness. So there is something about coming forward right this minute, right now, that is giving him some pause. And we saw here, he's asking for help. He's connecting to his inner guide. He is saying here, within a few weeks, I will return. But right now, he's saying, right now, this is present moment. I'm under a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. You know, there are things from the past. There are other things that I need to balance out and do to feel complete. So what's his message about this energy of what's happening right now? Right now, he needs to be in some solitude. He needs to spend some time alone because he is walking away from the past. He's walking away from a broken heart. He's walking away from funk. He's walking away from maybe other connections. But I also feel like he's telling you, I'm spending some time alone to walk away from my broken heart of when I walked away from you. When I walked away from you, the person who has sparked my soul. So this is very much this energy where masculine is absolutely in his feelings. He's in his emotions. You know, he's letting go of his ego mind. He's coming into his power. He's letting go of his pride. He's using his discernment. He's using his inner guide. And he's falling in love again. He feels very uncertain about these feelings because he hasn't been in his heart space for a while. So there is some uncertainty, but he's asking for help. He's asking for help from his spirit guides, from his angels, you know, from his higher self about how to purge certain things for certain behaviors, how to come into this union again. He feels like the weight has been lifted off of him. It's finally been released because he's finally trusting his inner guide. He's ready to return home within a few weeks because he understands that this divine union is a blessing. But right now, there's stress and anxiety. He's trying to balance things out on his own journey. And he needs to spend some time alone to walk away from grief, from a broken heart, from things that have just gone wrong on his journey, things that have been illuminated to him, but also walking away from the betrayal and the sadness and the grief that he is experiencing based on how he treated you, Divine Feminine. 
So if you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to Queen of Light, 1111.com. And thank you once again for liking, subscribing, and commenting. And if these readings help you, then please consider clicking on the thanks button so that I can continue to deliver these readings to all of you for free here on YouTube. And don't forget to check out the Soul Circle video and announcement that I have posted on the Queen of Light 1111 YouTube channel. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, everybody. Have a great weekend, too. Bye.